Hey guys, Coach Bricks with Explosive Sports. I want to show you guys a jump technique, all right, and how we teach it here. So we get our athletes in a good position. Toes are straight, okay, feet are straight, second toe really, primarily. Slightly bowed here, tall here, okay? So I'm sitting in this position. We like to start with our arms up. When I say down, we'll come down, all right? When we go down, you'll see my knees bow out, okay? And I'll be down, I'm pushing my hips back, bending my knees some. So we're gonna come down like this, all right? My head and chest are still up, all right? Once we're down, then I'll jump, and then you wanna watch also the landing. If you saw our last video, where I showed the landing technique, same thing applies here. So we'd be up with our athletes, down, I bow out, okay? And as I go to push up, I'm gonna spin, so my knees are gonna turn in a little bit, all right? As I'm spinning, my heels go away, I'm jumping up and landing. So we're down, ready, jump, boom, and then stick in the landing, okay? If I'm gonna do it all together, if I was the coach, I'm gonna yell go, or I'm gonna say down, they're gonna snap down and go right up, so down. And then stick that landing, always make sure you do it. Then reset, we typically do is about three to four jumps in a set, give them a good minute, minute and a half break. Now remember, this isn't an endurance thing. So many athletes try to turn plyometrics and coaches, sports performance coaches, turn plyometrics into endurance. It's not. It's built for power. So if you're not doing it for power, there's no reason to do it. All right, so make sure you're doing it correctly so you can get the most out of the jump and also avoid injury. Have yourself a blessed day. God bless and take care.